What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Troy Isley versus Victor Tony. This is on the Teofima Lopez and Pedro Campo card. This is going to be a good fight. Let's talk about Victor Tony. Victor Tony is a young prospect coming in with a record of 5-1-1. One, and one. That one loss coming against the towering inferno, Sebastian Fundora. He's big, he looks strong, and he's got good pop in his hands. But I couldn't really find too much tape on him except from like one or maybe two, right? In the fight that I saw, the angle wasn't the greatest either. But from what I can see... He's more of a defensive style fighter. He'll wait for you to come in and try and counter you. He'll touch you with some light jabs and try and bait you in and then throw a body shot or an overhand shot to the head. He's also got a nice uppercut that if he catches you, it'll do some damage or at least stun you and have you fighting off of that back foot. He seems to have a good foundation from a technical standpoint. He moves well inside of the ring. He's never been knocked out before. He also doesn't throw a lot of punches from what I can see. And I think in this fight, if he wants to win, he's going to have to let his hands fly because Troy Isley is going to do just that when given the opportunity. So I'm looking forward to seeing how Victor Tony performs in this fight this weekend, just seeing more of him. Let's talk about Troy Isley, the Terminator, the Olympian, right? I've probably watched every Troy Isley fight since he turned professional, right? Top rank signed a bunch of these young talents and Troy is one of them. He gets better every time that I see him. In my opinion, he shows me something new that he's been working on. He's a strong fighter. He's accurate. He sets up his shots very well. He's got a maturity inside of the ring that not a lot of young fighters have. Sometimes we see a young fighter get inside the ring and they're so excited, they're so anxious to get going that they headhunt a lot rather than setting up the shots and letting those shots come. But Troy Isley, he sets everything up. He's very patient with his approach and never really seems like he's forcing anything. He's composed. When he sits on his punches, I think he could put anybody down, right? I'm talking about anybody in that division, the next division up, like the man has got some good pop inside of his punches and what i like about him too is he's a very good body puncher you might see him in this fight use a throwaway jab to get you looking one way and covering up one way and he may come with the right hand and clip that liver or that solar plex and it stuns you he breaks his opponents down he likes to fight on the inside he is going to be the aggressor in this fight i think he's gonna come in if he doesn't respect you he's gonna continue to keep coming forward so hopefully Tony has something that Troy Isley will respect as he is coming forward because you want him to respect you so you can flip the switch and so you can find opportunities of your own and it's not just a one-sided fight. You want to get Troy fighting off that back foot. You want to pressure him and make him think about how he is going to find his opening against you. Troy hasn't been brought into deep waters yet. And if I'm Victor Tony, I'm trying to bring him there. Tony has a loss on his resume. He's been down. He knows what it's like to get back up and to keep fighting. And Isley hasn't lost on this level yet. But the question is, can Victor Tony bring him there? And that's the question that we're going to find out this weekend. But I have Troy Isley winning this fight. I think this one goes the distance. I think Troy wins by unanimous decision. Victor has to open up more in this fight and be smart and keep moving and he cannot stay stationary and just let Troy Isley tee off of him. Troy wants this to be an inside fight where he's not going to have to chase you all around. Even though he can fight from the outside, if he can throw a shot and you're right there with him, it makes picking spots a lot easier for him because he is so good at hitting the right targets at the right time. I think it's going to be a very good fight and I'm looking forward to seeing how this one goes. Who do you have winning this one? Let me know in the comments section below. If you would like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to support the channel by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my cash app handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the the growth of this channel and will be greatly appreciated so with all that being said if you've been watching the video this time then do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time